My custom black Okuma rod just snapped in half. That fish outsmarted me, whatever that was. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm on. You got a fish on? Yeah, I'm on. Oh! <laughs> All right, keep fighting him. Oh, you're on, you're on. Oh. Watch out, you're on. Oh my God, that rod was better. Beautiful day here in Key Largo. And today we're gonna catch a big mutton snapper. At least that's the plan. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it as if I was someone that's never fished here before. So you can catch yourself some big mutton snapper too. Right now I'm waiting for my friend uh, Steven and Alex to get here. But first, the secret to catching a big fish is to feeding your cat well. So I'm gonna go feed my cat now. There's Steven right there. Yeehaw. I gotta feed my cat real quick. Kitty. Who wants a stone crab claw? Ooh, this guy does. Kitty gonna get himself a stone crab claw for breakfast. Oh yeah, get all that meat out there for him. Kitty, Mikey. It's it's breakfast time. Go on. Kitty eats pretty good around here. I think Kitty eats better than most people do. Now that's how you feed a cat. Yeah. We got the boat loaded down with rods. We got Alex up front. What's up? And we got Steve over here. Mutton day, mutton day. Yeah, that's right, it's mutton day. So <laughs> the plan for today is, I'm, I'm not even gonna go to any spots in my GPS. I'm gonna pretend like I'm somebody that's never fished here before. And we're just gonna run. Today. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna be a tourist today. <laughs> we're gonna run south, right out of John Penny Camp and I'm gonna look for patcheries between 15 and 30 feet of water. I'm gonna just look for something that looks good. I'll explain that when we get out there, but we'll anchor up, we'll chum, we'll try to catch bait, we'll throw back knocker rigs, we'll throw back free line rigs, cut ballyhoo, live ballyhoo. We're just gonna try to catch a mutton snapper, and if that doesn't work, we're gonna run out to 130 feet and we're gonna bottom drift, try to catch a mutton that way. But whatever, whatever ends up happening, I think we're gonna get a big old mutton on the boat. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> In 10 feet of water on the Patrice, which is about, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three miles right off the land. You can see land back there. And um, yeah, so anywhere from 10 to 30 feet of water. Right now we're looking for some hard bottom. We're looking for coral heads. We're looking for rocks. Just kind of driving around. And once we find a nice patch, that's why they're called Patrice. It's like a patch of rocks and coral fans and all that. We'll throw the anchor up current of it and get to fishing. All right, I think yeah, drop the anchor right here. Yeehaw. We're in 15 feet of water. We got a chum bag out. And there's a little coral head right there. We got some rocks, we got sandiness all around us. We put the anchor right on some sand up there. Nice sand patch there. So we're basically on a patch reef. And we're gonna chuck down uh, some knocker eggs with cut ballyhoo on it. Let's see your cut ballyhoo there. You got the first rod going in the water. That's it. Let's do this. We'll throw out some chunks right now, and then uh, if we get some live ballyhoo in our chump slick, we'll catch them. There's a big mutton behind the boat. This might be a good place to free line. Holy sh- Dude, this is mutton territory. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Something's on mine. No way. Fish yeah, on. I got a fish on. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Woo! You need the gap? You good? Oh, we got off. Oh, it straight up got off. I didn't see it. <sighs> dude, there's a huge mutton back there. He came all the way to the surface. I'm just putting a butterfly ballyhoo on a circle hook. Swag. Come on, birds, get away from my bait. Damn, he better quit. We were not ready for that mutton. No. 
I'm gonna put out a yellow tail hook with a little bit of ballyhoo. I'm gonna just send that straight down. Boop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got something big on here. Get it. We got something big on here. Oh. Oh. oh! I heard your drag going off. There you go. Oh! Hold on, my guy's wrapped around a rock or something. You got a fish on? Yeah. Double hook up. Double hook up. Oh, come on, baby. I can't get mine out of the rock. Oh, you got a grouper. Grouper, yeah. Red grouper. All right. I can't get my guy out of the rock. You're on? Oh, my guy got off. No. Please get this one. He's coming up. Oh. Porgy. Oh, Porgy. Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice Porgy. Woo. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah. First fish in the boat. Fish in the box. We're getting hooked up like crazy. We just got to land one. Let them swallow it. Butterfly ballyhoo. Getting choked. <laughs> that was a big fish. That was a big one. That could have been a mutton. Dang, that was a big one. Ah! Get your line in the water. What's going on? We're losing every fish here. I got a big knot. <laughs> Look at this knot. Jeez. Man. Oh, we got a ton of yellowtail behind the boat. Boom. Fish on. Oh, that is another. Oh, that's a. This one's bigger. Heck yeah. Put him in the box. In the box. We got porgies on porgies. <laughs> I'm sending down a butter, another butterfly ballyhoo into the chump slick. I think it's time we get ourselves a mutton snapper. Kablam! Woo hoo hoo! The porgy master. Another porgy. Another porgy. Yeah, that's fish. The porgy, Matt, they're Whoa. getting bigger every time. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's a pretty good one. This feels like a really small... F oh my god, it's a remora. Holy smokes, it's so tiny. I'm gonna let him eat it. BAM! Yes! We got something here on the butterfly ballyhoo. Oh, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. What a ferocious yellowtail for the... Oh yeah! <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's a so keeper bad. for sure. Yellow tail snapper, look at that pretty tail. Yeah, we gotta catch some of these. Oh yeah! Monster porgy this time? I don't know, it feels pretty good. Could be a mangrove Jeez. if it's fighting that good. Porgy. Oh, hey, mutton snapper! <laughs> Heck yeah! Well, at least we got a taste. If, if there's one, there's more. Yeehaw! Hopefully he doesn't tell his friends about what's going on up here. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Way he go. He gone. Come up. He's... Oh, yig. Wow. Another yellow tail. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, he's a fatty. Good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, come on. Come to daddy. Oh shoot, he wrapped me. Ah, I'll I'm gonna just play him, I got all day. He's back out, yeah, yeah. no, come on. Oh, he's strong. He came out and then he went right back into his hole. You get, some, you get some line on him. I'm gonna just give him some slack, let him think he's safe, you know, let him come out of the hole. I have a problem with breaking rods. I wish I would've got that on video. That would be pretty good. Damn it, I can't believe I just snapped that rod in half. Holy smokes. Oh, there's big yellow tail down there. This is, I can't get, uh, oh, I got it. I snapped my rod in half. All right, so my, uh, my custom black Okuma rod just snapped in half, like, like nothing. I only got a 25 pound mono on here, but that fish outsmarted me, whatever that was. Got me good. <laughs> We're gonna try some shrimp now on the yellow tail hook. The shrimp will get them. Oh, there's a big nurse shark down there. Oh, snap. Should be good. I think he's coming up. Oh, yellow tail. Yellow tail. That's close. Perfect. He's a keeper. You want him, right? Yeah, I'll take him. What do you think you got? A mutton? Oh. Yellow tail. Mm. Is that a grunt? That's a grunt. I love grunts. You've caught everything. <laughs> Grunt and grits. Grunt. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's a good sized fish. Grunt and grits video. Oh, yeah. What we got here? Oh! oh! Mutton! Mutton! 
Mutton snapper. Oh, nice. snap. Fatty booboo-waddy. Woo. 16. Oh, just a couple inches too short. But he's a pretty boy. We're on the right track. Get him. Oh, sh what is it? Oh, oh grouper. I thought you were pulling up a mutton. I did too. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's a nice red, red grouper there. Thought he was a mutton. <laughs> All right. Oh, there goes my bait. Bam! On again. On again. On again. On the road again. Is that a mutton? Oh, mutton. Mutton. Too small. Mutton. But... He looks two inches too small. Son of a. Yeah, get him up. Get him up. Oh, grouper. Grouper. Another red. Pretty boy. Pretty and naughty. Here you go. Oh, come on, Ballyhoo. Did I get one? I got one. I got one. One Ballyhoo in the Ballyhoop net. We're really working for our baits right now. Damn, that's a big fish. Oh, snap. I don't want to snap a line. There you go, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that shake. How is he not broke the line? He's pulling hard. Oh my, why is it green? Is that an, is that a moray eel? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit, I got an eel. <laughs> ah. All right, let's see him. Oh, he's mean looking. Yeah, he is. Oh, man. Woo! Oh, oh man. Uh, if he, if he, how does he hook? Well, I got a dehooker. It's longer if you want. They got sharp teeth. Yeah, be Let's careful. I, I got a dehooker if you want. Why don't you hold him up for uh, a picture? Yeah. yeah. You want a video of it? Here. Yeah. He's gonna curl up because of the Ah! There he goes. <laughs> In a way, he goes. That's the biggest fish been caught today. Porgy? What is it? A porgy? porgy? <laughs> Woo! Another big porgy. porgy. <laughs> Man, that's one way to fill the boat. One porgy at a time. Uh, ooh, look at that hook. <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect. Right in the Jeez. Uh, right in the lead, almost got out of there. <laughs> that's a pretty boy. That'll work. Where'd that nurse shark go? You see him down there? Shit! I gotta jump in the water and get it. All right, I'm going in. Net retrieval. You got a fish on him? Pit it. Oh, it, oh, he got off. All right, I'm gonna go get this net here. I think there's a big shark under the boat. The belly hoop net came off the cleat, so I had to go swim after it. But I think now what we're gonna do is head about a quarter mile off towards the reef's edge to where it goes from like 30 feet down to 100 feet. We're gonna drift. Oh, I think you're good. Ooh, what the heck is that? Is that? Oh, that thing looks sketchy. Oh, that's one of those. Ones. You want? Yep. I got him. You got the little weird. Oh, that's a mean looking fish. Man, that is gnarly. Fish on. Oh, you want? Yeah, what is that? Is that a grunt? Oh, that's a girl. <laughs> oh, you got. Oh, oh no. There we go. Look at that. 
eat them? Would you eat that? Maybe. It looks good. <laughs> I would, yeah. <laughs> All right. Second one ready to go. smokes it just breached over there let's see if we can even land this thing holy smokes oh, oh. I, mean, I just hope we don't get caught in those balls right there it's almost like we're stuck on the on the wreck i think you might need to take yours up and we got to drive the boat back up towards it because he's we got to pick him up off the wreck it's pretty exciting oh i just got cut off you got a fish on, yeah, I'm on. oh Get him! Oh, he's off. Oh, he's off? He's off. Oh, he's back on. He's, he's back he's, on. He's coming up. <laughs> All right, keep fighting him. Get him up. Get the beast up. I'm not getting anything on him. All right, well, I got the gaff oh, ready. Wow, he's running. Come on. Come on. He's getting line back. Oh, you're on. You're on. Oh. Watch out. You're on. Oh, my God. That rod was winning. Oh, my God. I thought you were about to lose your rod. Look at this thing. Here, here we there we go. Uh, well, we made it this far. Come on. He's off the wreck, though, at least. Oh, yeah. You got. You can play him now. You got plenty of time. Ooh, that looks scary like it's going to just pop off. Oh, he's right there. I should probably get the jab ready, huh? Oh, oh. oh smokes! Your line's on the boat. It's chafing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, my God. Damn. That's stone crab trap bait. <laughs> Dang. Oh. On the stinger rig. How'd that, how'd that feel fighting him? <laughs> that was a rush, man. Dude, I thought it was a mega kingfish. Me too. But I didn't want to say anything. That's a big one. How do you need help getting him up? Let's see, I want to slide him. I'm going to slide him so his... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> you need to him back up. Let's get him in. <laughs> hey, I'll get his, his mouth. Yep. Come on. And his tail first, so he doesn't eat the freaking lines. Like that? Yeah. Oh, he's on me. Oh, yeah. Holy. Hey, that's a nice. That's Ooh. some. That's some bait right there. <laughs> but I actually need stone crab trap bait, so that's great. All right. Oh shh. I got salt water all over the lens. We are on our last drift out here in 120 feet of water. Some decent looking bottom, but Steve just caught a massive barracuda. How was that? It was a good rush, good fish. <laughs> good rush, <Right>? good fish. <laughs> that was awesome. You gotta put your foot next to it. That thing's gonna make some good crab trap bait. This is our last drift, and then uh, we going back home. Go, oh, go! Oh, no! Oh, he's running. He's out there. Oh, yeah. He's coming! No, he's going! He's coming! He's going! <laughs> Got him! Oh yeah! Come on! Last drift. How how freaking awesome is that? Oh! Oh snap! Come on, fishy! Oh, it's not a—it's not a barracuda. Is that a African pompano? Wait, 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 wait. And AJ? Oh, lesser amberjack. They're good eating. That was a good fight. That was a freaking awesome fight. We got to come out here and just all day just drift big baits over the wreck and just freaking boom. finally did it boys i blew the engine we had an idle 
all the way from the reef's edge all the way back to my dock. There's no compression on one of my spark plug holes. My mechanic told me that I got a blown cylinder and I basically need to rebuild the whole thing. God dang it. Oh, the joys. You were good while you lasted, baby. Now I'm on the hunt for a new engine. My boat's max rated for a 250 with a 25 inch shaft. If anyone's got a cheap 200 horsepower or a 250 horsepower, shoot me an email. Let me know what y'all got, because I need something. I gotta slap something on this boat. How am I gonna keep making fishing videos? But uh, let's go fillet some fish. Ooh, yeah. Hey, good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, that's okay. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Caitlin's taking pictures of the fish. Oh, wait, what did you say, Heiko? Slowly getting there. Good amount of meat. Kitty, where's he at? Where's the little kitty? Oh, there he is. How about some fresh grunt? Kitty. Oh, yeah. Right next to the barracuda. <laughs> the barracuda could eat that cat. Got bags of fish, two bags. Where are your bags of fish? Ooh, look at all that fish. <laughs> bags on bags on bags. We got a big old mixed bag of reef fish on this plate right here. What I just did was I took all the fish we caught, grunts, porgies, yellowtail snapper, the lesser amberjack, and I basically just chopped them up, I cubed them up, and this right here is what we're left with. It's a party pack. <laughs> what we're gonna do, real simple. I'm gonna take a handful of these guys. I'm gonna dip them here in some flour, just like that. And I'll take them all, dip them here in egg. I'll just roll them in the egg. There we go, nice handful. Egg rolled fish, and then, in this bag I have panko. It's about 75% panko and 25% uh, shredded parmesan cheese. Now I'll put the fish inside of this bag and then we'll mix it all up in there. Mix it all up and then we'll reach in this bag and we'll pick out our pickings. Real good looking. Coming out looking really good. I will do that to the rest of the fish. And then once we uh, do that, we got some angel hair pasta boiling right there. And we got some hot peanut oil that we're gonna fry the fish on. And then we're gonna put fried fish on the pasta. We're gonna have ourselves a fishy Italian something. <laughs> Bam! Oh, This looks pretty freaking good though. The fish is on point. There we go, we got a f fan fabulous looking plate of delicious fried fish. So what I wanted to do was noodles on a plate and put the fried fish on top of the noodles, but I think I messed these noodles up. I think I overcooked them. Don't they look like Play-Doh to you? What do you think, Amy? <laughs> I'm just not sure what happened, but it's okay. I don't know. I messed the noodles up, okay? I may... It's just... Something's not right. Okay. I messed the noodles so, like, up. I thought you can't even do well water. Oops. I'm sure mm. it's fine. They look great. They look no. fine. Mm. Hi no. Nope. Hi go kitty, whatever your name is. You want to know how to distract the cat? You give... Captain Elliot, watch this. Captain Elliot, come here. Oh yeah, woo-wee! There, he's distracted. Now let's go back to this. How I wanted to present this was like, something like this. Like, ooh yeah, we got some angel hair pasta with fried fish on it. But it's just, I don't know, it just 
It just don't look right. It don't look right. I don't know if it's me messing the pasta up. That bite of pasta was good. This bite of pasta, look, that looks like mashed potatoes. All right, so I haven't cooked pasta in, in months, years. I haven't made pasta since we've known each other again. Yeah, I guess we don't make pasta. So that's like 10 years. But at the end of the day, the fish is what matters and the fish looks epic. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so hungry. How are you? I know. Yeah. Can we can we get it together? It's already 2 wow. p.m. We gotta be up early. Wow. That's right. How's it going, Mousy? Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Another daddy. Let's see what you're doing down here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You're face deep in fried fish over here. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Kaylin. Hi, go. Come here. Go on, fried fish. What am I trying? Just the fish? Yeah, just the fish. Screw the noodles. I I screwed up the noodles. That's right. Okay. I will admit it. I don't know how to cook noodles. Hi, Cal. <laughs> you're, you're my personal chef. I used to be really good at cooking noodles. Oh, I'm going to see that. Go for it. I don't know what fish is what because I just cut them all up. Tastes good, whatever it is. Yeah, it tastes good. Tastes like some good fried fish. You really can't go wrong frying fish. I feel like you could fry a, a squirrel and it tastes good. Actually, fried squirrel's pretty good. Oh my god, I had a feeling you were gonna say that. I was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else you'd eat squirrel. But... Okay, yeah, they're slightly overcooked. <laughs> I'm never cooking noodles again. No. It's like Play-Doh. Hi, girl. Man, the fish is on fire, though. 